I, I would just like to know if the, if the RCMP have reached out to you at all. You talk, you talked to them a week and a half ago. Kian Bexy for Rebel News here in Ottawa, Ontario, outside of Jody Wilson Raybould's book launch. I met her in the Ottawa airport to ask her a few questions about SNC while she arrived from Vancouver. She took a quick break from the campaign to launch her book here in Ottawa. She told me there that the RCMP have actually contacted her just over a week ago regarding the SNC Lavalin file, which I think is very interesting. But I'm here today to chat with folks who are here to get her book and listen to her speak. I want to know where her support is coming from. She is perhaps the most popular independent candidate that Canada has seen in this century at least. Uh, it is a very interesting situation. I want to know where her support is coming from, whether it's from the Liberal Party or otherwise. I also want to know what folks coming in here think about Justin Trudeau and whether or not they're disappointed uh, with the mask that has been slipping or the eyebrows that have been slipping lately in terms of uh, his hypocrisy on the diversity file, the environment file, the feminism file. The event organizers were very kind. They gave me access to the event and a ticket. They're already treating me a million times better than the Liberal Party and their parliamentary press gallery treat me and the rest of the rebels. So I'm going to go in there and keep asking questions and see why people are so enamored with Jody Wilson-Raybould. First and foremost, what, what about Jody are you interested in? I've just been following politics, as have most Canadians these days, and I'm just interested to hear what she has to say and, and see her in person tonight. The SNC Lavalin affair has been in the spotlights, but um, I've heard that her book is about uh, reconciliation, um, and um, that's why I want to hear her out. It's difficult to be a woman in politics, and she's a strong woman in politics. I'd like to hear what somebody who is a uh, insider thinks about it. I think what she has to say on Indigenous issues are incredibly important and uh, one of the few voices in, uh, in Parliament right now that are actually speaking on these issues. So I think that's really important. I followed the story closely so I'm curious to hear what she has to say. I know she's going to talk about reconciliation but uh, I want to I want to listen to, to what she has to say about her new book. I'm coming here tonight to see Jody because of her integrity and she continues to live by her cultural values and that's one of them is, is integrity. So the question that everyone is asking political pundits across the country, Jody Wilson-Raybould is perhaps the most popular independent candidate ca Canada has ever seen and they're interested to know where the support is coming from. They want to know is, is she breaking off factions of the Liberal Party or, or the Green Party? What do you think? No, nah, I don't know. I think she transcends any sort of political party or definition, uh, somebody who knows how to tell it and somebody who knows uh, what she stands for and when it's time to say what she stands for and uh, just put it out there the way it is. Uh, possibly. Uh, I'm not a political pundit. <laughs> um, I'm sure her support is uh, probably much bigger in BC than it would yeah. be here, um, understandably. Um, uh, if she were my candidate, would I vote for her? I don't know, honestly. Yes, more than likely she is uh, NDP green, sort of mm -hmm. coming from that. But I think some liberals are also turning her way. How does Jody contrast with Justin Trudeau? No, I get. <laughs> I got nothing for you. Why? Well, that's a tough one. Um, I... Do you think Trudeau is a hypocrite? No. He's done a lot of things that I really appreciate, um, but the purchasing of the pipeline was absolutely ridiculous. And the way he handled uh, the whole situation with Jody Wilson raybould and Jane Philpott was very poorly done. Now the event organizers were kind enough to give the Rebel access in the event. They gave me a ticket so I can go in there and record what's going on in there. It is very interesting. This event is packed. Hundreds of people. I don't know what the official count is. I would guess over a thousand folks showed up in Ottawa alone to support Jody Wilson-Raybould. It's a good thing she doesn't have a party behind her because if she did, Justin Trudeau certainly would be in trouble. These kind of numbers are, uh, it's hard for party leaders to get numbers out like this, let alone an independent candidate from across the continent. It's a very, very peculiar situation that we're seeing here in Ottawa. Jody has support that we have never seen an independent candidate have before. I'm going to ask some more questions.
hey, can you do me a favor? Can you make sure that you're subscribed to The Rebel on YouTube? It really helps us out. We don't get any government funding like the CBC or the rest of the mainstream media. So when you subscribe to us, it helps us keep you up to date with the latest news.